Hey y'all, Serlu who here, and we are back again with Detroit Become Human. So last episode, we met back up with Marcus as he made his way through the city of Detroit. He got off a bus and found the secret underground railroad to Jericho. So he got off, he looked at a bunch of graffiti that had hidden symbols in it that gave him access to the like next image and he followed each image to you know the next place which eventually led to the good ship jericho which is a rusted old abandoned ship that was just kind of left in the dock he got inside explored it a bit and he found a group of androids that have been living there apparently and are probably the ones responsible for the graffiti we also found a couple of dead android bodies along the way so i uh, probably going to want to ask about that but it's something we noticed also the leader of them seems to be either very similar looking or the same model of or is um was named daniel from the very first chapter with connor and all that it, it looks a lot like him i think but uh yeah, that's kind of all we really did. We just kind of did some, like, free running and looking cool with Marcus last time. Okay, not a lot happened. Not a lot happened at all. That's where we are. With him, anyway. Hank's still warm with us. It's good. We still have that software instability. Reconcile with him. Yeah, we did kind of piss him off a little. Mm-hmm. You can tell. Looks like they're talking gambling. You want to flutter? Last shit hot tip he gave me sent me back a week's wages. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Scan. What we got here? Abdar Pedro, born 2005, unemployed, criminal record, illegal gambling, and fraud. Uh, Gary Kays, business owner, criminal record, resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Ugh. Ted Anderson, criminal record, none. And yet here we are. Our food is prepared by a human. Is that it? Can I just scan faces? Or can I scan the world? <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. Hmm. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Sorry. You don't have to follow me around like a poodle. How you like dogs? <laughs> Apologize, partners. Reconcile. Be facts. Apologize. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh wow! You've even got a brown nose and apology program. As if Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Scan. <laughs> Hamburger. Ooh, that's a lot of calories. And carbs, lipids, water, salt. Is it poisoned or something? Like, why am I scanning? That's also a lot of calories. Look, carbonated pineapple passion. I can even drink that. It'd make my tongue swell. Let's see. Is this the rest? We your hygiene. Yeah, we got all the regs. So, it's not that. I have a severe allergy to pineapple or anything, but I do have a pineapple allergy that makes it taste like I'm uh, chewing sandpaper, more or less. I found it out after I like had raw pineapple on chicken or something. I don't like pineapple to begin with, all that. 
like since I was a child, I never liked pineapple. But I'm guessing that might be because of the allergy now. <laughs> Not all that, but we figured it out kids ate the chicken, didn't eat the pineapple, but the pineapple juice got all over the chicken and it's like my tongue swelled. Not enough to close my airways ring, just enough to make life unpleasant for me. Go. Uh, thanks, Gary. Seriously. It's like chewing gravel. I'll leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. I am his poodle. See? Let's draw company. Enjoy your meal. Uh. Got a lot of meat. One point four times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's gotta die of something. Okay, good for you, Hank. <laughs> um, should we talk about the gambling? This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> and you made a bet. Yeah. Huh. Um. About Connor, maybe? Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. no. Well, yeah. Um, why don't they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Ouch. Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Uh, deviants. I don't know if I want to get on the Maybe Hank and Android thing. You, know about deviants. you read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. Exactly. <laughs> hmm. Okay. No our choice. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. I'll let that be. You ever dealt with deviants before? Yes. A few months back. A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Uh... Yeah. I don't think he'd appreciate. <laughs> I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. Took down a lot of red eyes, people. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and... And all is worth it. You spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? Um... Sincere? I think working with an officer with... personal issues is an added challenge. But... Adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> I just got a wink. A suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. At least we got a lot of the car if you need me. good points with him, right? <laughs> Seem pretty happy. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <laughs> Question the suspect. Now, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? A lot of feathers. 
Columbia, Olivia, Rock Pigeon. Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Oh, what we got here? My feelings for two is... Is it? No? It's this one that you're at, right? Busted in? Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! <laughs> Stay behind me. Got it. Nope, we got stuff. We gonna wait? Are you going in? Going in! Pigeons! All the pigeons! What the fuck is this? Oh wow, that has a lot of pigeons. Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Pigeons! Uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Are we sure about that, Hank? What am I looking at? Military jacket, second hand, initials RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Hmm. These symbols. They are everywhere. <sighs> there's so many pigeons. Air. Oh, there's more. That one's different, though. Oh, we got something there. Rupert Travis, forgery. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Oh, something down. Nope, there's nothing down there. God, pigeons move. <laughs> We have a fridge. Suspect doesn't eat, of course, because he is clearly a android. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things. All these pigeons. More of that farming stuff, just like Ralph. Urban farm poster fields in the heart of the city. Oh! Uh-huh. Shawshanking it. Poster coil recycled. 100% mute! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, more of the crazy symbols. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Uh, electronic books you can't... Found something? Uh -oh. I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Oh, there's something. Move, bird. Suspect carries for wild animals. Clearly! <laughs> he has all the pigeons. I'm assuming. Bird seed. I can't believe it. This nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. Let's see what that is. More RE nines. Any idea what it means? RA nine. Written two thousand four hundred and seventy-one times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. 
obsessive compulsive writing. And a stool. Here we go. Open marker pen. Still wet. Used recently. Okay. Oh, there it is. I got here. When still recently disturbed. Traces of avian fecal matter. All right. Reconstruct. Suspect was recently here. And he hit the shelf. He ran into the living room. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. There's our LED. Its LED is in the sink. Suspect Not is a deep. An android. Sample. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Blue blood. Mm-hmm. Find it interesting that they have their own unique bloods as well. DNA to an extent, I guess. He has to be in there, I'm guessing. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, yep. We got a reading material! Red Ice Epidemic, the latest narcotic crisis ravi to ravage Detroit. There's Security Council, you in worlds of World War Three. blah blah blah. Red Ice Epidemic. The synthetic stimulant, informally known as Red Ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production, suggesting the drug flourishes in, dis in the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. Sociologist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same link with androids. The cyber life's androids spread... Um, spread across the country. They will bring red ice with them. Poor men and women desperate to make ends meet are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Therium, the main ingredient in android blue blood, is among the active agents in red ice and has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. The National Association for Narcotic Prevention, NANP, NAMP, 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 NAP, not really, say the problem is going to get worse. Purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating. America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red ice dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto, where the blood is blue, the ice is red, and the money is green. And green earth, ha! Huh? That's the tipping point. Earth's environment officially beyond repair. Great! Bees officially extinct and global famine to follow. Environmentalists have long warned us about tipping point, the moment at which global warming reaches a high level that is irreversible. Scientists are now saying we have officially passed it. Global rainforests have been reduced by 79% since 2000, and coastal corals by 58%. Polar ice has melted to such extent that rising sea levels have many states struggling to keep the water out of their coastal towns. With these cooling factors so diminished, there is now too much carbon in the atmosphere for the environment to ever absorb. Come on, down you go. Jason Reese, head of the Global Environment Agency, said this study confirms what many of us have suspected for a long time, but the real calamity is the linked decline of natural resources from energies to minerals, which are almost exhausted and can never be replaced. Many environmentalists have criticized Reese's comments as discouraging people from taking action, but Reese has defied these criticisms. Uh, it's important people accept the reality of the situation. The planet will keep getting hotter now. The only question is how fast. Hmm. What? There's nothing else to see here. Let's get out of this shithole before I die of an asthma attack. Uh, let me just look a little longer. Just another couple of minutes, Lieutenant. 
All right, you got two minutes. Then I'm out of here. Okay. Oh, fuck. Shit. Is there anything else? I can analyze the cage. Finger marks, recent. Skid marks, recent. What's this? Mel hook, recently broken. Reconstruct. Suspect ran towards the entrance and... What am I looking for here? Suspect heard us enter. Oh. Where are you going, bud? He went for the chair. And he is still here, hiding in the attic. Alright. Found him! <laughs> oh. Sorry! <laughs> Damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase I'm on it! You know, chasing, that's what I'm about. <laughs> X! Go, buddy, go! I'm great at my job and I'm sorry for it! That way. Hurry up. Um. Easy but slow, fast but risky. That way. Um, balance. Fast but risky. X. Go, go, go. Triangle. X. <laughs> okay. Direct but crowded. Safer detour. Whatever. Look out. Uh huh. We're getting there. Whoa. Whoa. Where'd he go? There he is. Almost to him. Damn it. Crap. Oh crap, he's up there. Okay, direct but slow. Fast but risky. Fast! Come on, you! A triangle! We got this. X. Sorry, bud, you ain't escaping me. I'm too good at my job. Who? <laughs> uh, <shit>. Right? <laughs> God, he's such a badass. <laughs> triangle, triangle. Yep, there. Hey, be careful, you be careful, you asshole. Come on, man. If I let one get away, it's going to reflect bad if you let another. And this one we don't even know, so. If we crowd it, I don't care. Look out. Oh, that way. Follow him. Come on. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Crap. Have him. Hank! Hank! Hi, uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit! We had it. Fuck. It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it. We're friends! <laughs> That's alright. We know what it looks like. We're friends! <laughs> Hey, Connor. Nothing. Message received. We are friends. <laughs> oh, I am so happy. 67% completed the nest. Ripper Galway. But we're friends with Hank, so who fucking cares? <laughs> uh, finally. Amanda still trusts us. 
<sighs> and stability is still questionable. Join Hank, take to Hank, be frank with Hank, warn Hank about cholesterol. There was something else we could have done, but we didn't. I don't know what that was. In the elevator! Into the nest. And we examined the feathers, which didn't really have any point. <laughs> Found the diary. We missed something there. Don't know what we missed there. Investigated just about everything. We chased Rupert. We gained on Rupert. And then he pushed Hank off the edge and we had to save Hank. But we got our friendship, so... So could we have, hmm, we could have done something there, which I'm guessing was probably losing him. He got away or we could have probably caught him. But I feel like we did the better thing here by saving Hank. <laughs> like I'm thinking he might have lived, but I mean, we wouldn't have had him as a friend. <laughs> All right, let's see what anybody else did. Everybody talked to Hank. Everybody was pretty much frank with Hank. Not a lot of people warned about cholesterol, but I, I don't know. It seemed really high, even for a burger. Like, that was kind of insane. Well, we found the LED, found the diary. A lot of people didn't read the magazine, but I mean, it was kind of hidden, so. Can't really fault him there. We found, everybody found him, everybody chased him. Most people gained on him. And yeah, it looks like pretty much everybody, for the majority, saved Hank. And Seth, we went the majority way this time. All right. Not too bad, though. Not too bad at all. Alright, so thoughts and opinions. I have to say, so far, Kara and Connor seem to have my favorite routes. All that. Like, Marcus started off really interesting, but he hasn't really been doing much in the past too which they're giving us like a build up and atmosphere for him I'm sure I'm sure his stuff will pick up again and all that it's just there hasn't been too much to do other than kind of absorb the atmosphere for him where Kara you know she's been dealing with kind of complicated situations and then Connor's had a bit more action going on in his day to day anything Plus, we also have to deal with Hank, you know, trying to figure out what he likes, what he doesn't like. So, so far, so good. We got friendship! That's great, right? I wonder what the negatives, though, of letting him get away are going to be. Because so far, my record's been pretty, you know, good. We talked Daniel down at the beginning. We caught the one from the attic and all that but this guy got away and then Kara and Alice got away so we have two wins two losses more or less pretty balanced pretty balanced but our stability is losing its grasp on us I guess I don't know uh, I just want to do right by everybody I'm sure it will be fine but um that is it for this episode um next time we will see what's up i'm assuming with kara i don't see kara in a bit so i'm sure it'll be kara next time so until then you know like and subscribe if you want to and thank you for watching